Hi, this is Vagita Simonsen from Greatest Marketing Agency. How do you set up your tracking on Facebook uh, in your Facebook ad account? If you like content like this around Facebook and Instagram advertising, then please give me a like and subscribe. Well, let's jump into it. I'm here in my own Facebook ad manager and uh, I'll show you how to set up your columns here, all these columns here. Because uh, tracking is very important. If you're not tracking, then you you may think that uh, you you may think like for instance that your product is mostly for men, but if you don't really know until you see the data, the data is king. <laughs> so make sure that you're tracking and using it, using uh, your data to make adjustments to your ads so they'll perform better. But let me say, uh, show you how to uh, use all these columns because you can set it up the way you want here. Uh, there's a lot of settings. So I'll get this out of the way. Um, you can do this both on the, on the campaign level, ad set level or ad level. But you go in here, you see here the columns. And um, I have one that is saved here. But I'll show you how to do it. You scroll down and then you go here, customize columns. And here you can um, you can choose all the different um, what what columns you want to see, like uh, for of course with results, reach, frequency can be good because if you have too high a frequency, then uh, it could be ad fatigue and you need to do something like for instance change the the picture, the video, the creative of your ad. Um, impressions, delivery, amount spent, uh, cost per click, CPC, um, click-through rate, and CTR. Um, cost per result, this is the most important one, cost per result. And then it doesn't matter with all the other settings, if this one is good, then forget about the other one. So actually I don't use normally too many different settings. I don't use these settings normally because uh, I just look at the cost per result. That's what matters. Um, you can also have cost per million, uh, uh, imp cost per thousand impressions, um, engagement, page like and followers, um, a lot of things here shares, cost per page engagement, and um, also messaging, uh, new messaging contacts, uh, and what it costs, cost messaging, uh, media, I'm gonna go through it fast because there's a lot of different settings you can use, um, two second video plays, um, and 3 second video play, video play 25%, 50 to 75, 95%, 100% and then you can even look at video average play time and so on and so on um, and then uh, this metric, these metrics is mostly for if you're selling products if you're an e-commerce store then those are um, important like uh, add to cart, um, the, they are coming down here, and uh, of course um, conversions, um, I think we jumped over them, but uh, those are important for e-commerce stores, uh, add to cart for instance, and uh, conversions. Um, and initiate checkout they have also um, yeah but uh, play around with that and uh, then you can uh, after you have clicked the ones you want you can uh, then save them so that you have them for next time you click apply and I have some saved already here and uh, yeah, then you can, uh, at the bottom, you can say, um, 
You can uh, save them after you have uh, applied them all. Uh, yeah, save as preset. Small little uh, box you can click there. But anyway, yeah, then you can uh, you can go and compare your different ads because, like for instance here, the frequency, you can see this frequency is a little bit lower than that one, it's not much, but, um, but where, you, where you can also see it um, is if you go here under the, uh, the name, this can be also under both campaign, ad set or ads, it doesn't matter, there you can... Uh, Click on view charts and here you can also see uh, graphics of the different metrics. Um, here you can customize the metrics again. Um, you can only have three at a time so you have to unclick one and then click another one to show that. Um, yeah and uh, here demographics, platform, all, that's the gender, men or women, results, or amount spent, reach, impressions, um, attention, impressions, um, and something about your ads here, placements. Um, yeah, but go and click... Um, um, yeah, go and play around with it and uh, make sure that you are tracking and looking at your metrics all the time so you can make um, informed decisions before changing anything on your ads and make sure that you, you're not making changes to your ads more than once a week because every time you make changes to your ads then you mess up the um, algorithm and the learning process uh, or your, your ads will go a little bit into learning process again um, and uh, so, so uh, don't make changes more than once a week. You can write down all the changes you wish to make, and then just uh, do them all one time, once a week. Or if you're spending a large amount, you can do it a little bit more often. But make, but always be aware that you are messing up the algorithm a little bit every time you're making changes. Uh, hope it helps. Comment below if you have any questions, and if you want us to do all this for you, for us, for you, then we specialize in Facebook, Instagram advertising for coaches and consultants. Um, you can click the link below and book a call with me and my team to learn more about it. Also, please join our free Facebook group, Facebook advertising for co uh, coaches, consultants, entrepreneurs. Link in the description. And don't forget to like, follow and subscribe, share it with your friends and click that little notification bell if you're on YouTube. That way you get notified every time we upload a new video. Take care. Bye.